What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and you are looking at a Curiosity rover mass cam shot of the dark. You can see the Martian darkness and Earth. This is supposedly Earth from the Mars, uh, from the rover. This is from the mass cam. And there's a little bit something about this picture that, that kind of gets to me. It came down as a TIFF file and it's, in, it's great resolution. Now this is the same exact camera that puts out let me show you what we've got it from here. And uh, you're going to be able to go ahead and, and just click on the description. You'll find a link to this. This thing came down as a 19 megabyte file, right? Now, let me read this to you. The view of this twilight sky, the Martian horizon, taken by NASA's Curiosity Mars rover, includes Earth as its brightest point in the light in the night sky. Earth is a little left to the center of the image, and our moon is just below Earth. Two noted versions of the image are also available. We're not going to need those. Researchers used the left eye camera of Curiosity's mass cam to capture the scene about 80 minutes after sunset on the 529th Martian day, our Sol. The rover's work on Mars, January 31st, 2014. This image has been processed to remove effects of the cosmic rays. A human observer with normal vision, if standing on Mars, could easily see Earth and the Moon as two distinct bright evening stars. The distance between Earth and Mars, when Curiosity took this photo, was about 99 million miles. All right, so, all right. Now, this file came down 20 megabytes, all right? And what we get from every other thing that the mass cam puts out is about two. So NASA, can you please explain to me why we are not getting the high resolution pictures as well for all the raw files? How come you guys just get the uh, get get to give them out? So let me take a look at this here again. We're going to zoom in on it and take a look, see if we can't see our moon on there. I mean, it definitely looks like it's got a lot more resolution than what we're used to. And uh, as we start pulling it in, you're going to see the here's Earth right here, and then you can see a little speck down here. That's our moon. So. There's our beautiful ball we live on. And uh, so apparently if we were standing there on Mars, we would see this bright as can be. But once again, it just floors me that we can send back such a high quality image. But then every day of the week, every other day, we get this junk from the raw pictures. Um, just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, no, 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 I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Just any old random picture from the thing. Here we go. Here's the latest images. Let's go to here just click any of them it doesn't matter and we're going to see what the full resolution actually is okay here's the full resolution we'll say we we're going to save it and so we saved it let's see how big that was not look here we are look we're not e we're talking about not even a megabyte half of a megabyte is the picture we get from these okay half of a megabyte when they're giving out raw pictures, this picture came from NASA, came from the same, you know, came from the mass cam. Well, you know what? Let, just to just to be absolutely 100%, let's go back and get a mass cam shot. Just to be, you know, just to be 100% sure to show you that this is you know, pretty much insanity. Okay, here we go. There's the Mars hand shot. Where we go? Mass cam. Bingo. Let's just take any of them. <laughs> Everything's downloading now. There we go. Mass cam left. Okay. And here we go. Of course, my internet's going to run slow. Okay, here's another shot right here. Let's go ahead and save the image. And it's being saved. Ooh, what an interesting looking rock out there. All right, download. Even less. Look at that. 262 kilobytes. All right, guys. So that's what got me when I saw that file and how it came down. Now, that looks much crisper. Beautiful picture. Um, so let's go on to Saturn. Look, check this out. Saturn's got the neatest hexagon or whatever you want to call that thing up at the top of it. And it's just not understood by many of us. I tell you what, it's a very complex place. I've, I've heard people tell me it's a Dyson ball where there's actually maybe a little baby sun in it. It's got something built around it. Um, I've read and looked at the ring makers. If you go to my website, if you go to Saturn under the pictures, you can see the pictures of the ring makers actual look like machines that are making these rings. And if uh, you stay tuned, I am eventually going to get through to this. I've, I've got a lot of those started. Um, you know, the pictures getting ready to make videos. I've probably got about 50 videos getting that I could make. Um, so here we go right here. Here's this is came right directly from good old NASA. And we can see here Saturn's aurora glow check this out look at the aurora 
Pretty beautiful. This was taken from a couple different of our, uh, like, I think this is Cassini and a couple different ones together. And see that, that circle at the top? It's almost like, uh, have you ever heard of hollow earth? It, it's just very interesting that, uh, it doesn't move. It doesn't stay. It almost like stays there. Like it's a perfect, okay. Ultraviolet view from Hubble. The images have been processed to show the aurora is moving more clearly. But that circle that's up at the top, and if you look at it, it's not actually a circle. It, it you know, it looks like, and I think it's a hexagram, not hexagram, the octagon. I forget exactly what it was, but it's definitely awesome. I've got some really good pictures of it. We're going to be taking a look at. Look at that. The sequence has been looped three times. Infrared auroras at Saturn's south pole. See the south, see this is the south pole. It's got that perfect circle down there. Are these planets hollow? You know, is this a Dyson sphere? Um, who knows? Like I said, we've never been to Saturn. All we've done is send one, send one cause we sent Cassini up there. And we've sent, uh, I think maybe Mariner on the way to Mercury might take some shots. I'm not 100% sure on that. But anyway, guys, there's your space news for today. You get to your beautiful Saturn, and then you get to take a look at this wonderful picture from the rover that shows Earth. Even though when we want to look at something right here on the surface, it's blurry. What's up in the sky, 37 guys? My name's Will. Uh, subscribe if you don't know me. Hit like. We've got lots of space news, anomalies. I'll be back with so much more this week. Just getting back in the swing of things. Once again, thank you guys for all the condolences for my father um, passing last Friday. It's, it's, it's been amazing, the outpouring. So much love, guys. Take it easy.